Most people in America are quite familiar with what their rights are and aren't when it comes to consumption of products or services that are sold across America on behalf of corporations and organizations. Consumers have rights. They have the right to purchase without discrimination. They have the right to pay without elimination. They have the right to receive quality food with proper sanitation, and they have the right to complain to corporations when employees misbehave against their lives. People who come from poverty tend to think they're being generous and kind when they pay for someone who is in a worse situation than themselves. That is their presumption, that is their assumption, and that is sometimes their ability to be, well, let's just say it, someone involved in consumption of illegal and immoral means. What I mean by that is that companies rarely teach their employees on how to handle the indigent and how to handle the panhandlers and how to handle the people who are technically might be considered peddlers but openly they could just be missionaries living on a budget living on modesty and living on poverty because of their faith a priest that is of a catholic background a lutheran background a pagan background often has three pieces of their life that are talked about through the rope that they wear on the robe when they wear them and the first one is typically chastity the second one is modesty and the third is poverty poverty is a part of being a priest of the Lord's house Jesus traveled through Nazareth and other places with next to nothing he met tax collectors he made met abusers of society he met people of quite in indifferent notoriety and openly he still visited them he still slept in their houses and he still appreciated them but today we have a religious right that cannot stand the poverty that's around a community we have affluent people who drive their fancy automobiles that are half as much as what a house costs who do not like what they see at the same time we have a huge black community that recognizes poverty and sometimes offers generosity but oftentimes it's a disguise for abuse of people like me the liars of America often use their attitudes of we're above that person thank God to try to help someone but sometimes they are still abusers of people like you and me the abuser will not listen to the answer no the abuser will rape someone of their rights you know the abuser will insist on paying for someone after they have had a polite decline from that person and the abusers will often do it because of two reasons they've already transgressed and trespassed against that person or they're planning to do so in some way rarely is it done on a consistent decision to be a representative of Christ and his generosity his humility and his lack of pride it is true that companies can comp meals but it is rarely done unless there's a justification from the corporate office that says look out for this one he is one of our future opportunities for the benefit of our company not for the detriment of your employment share rarely do the people at the lower levels understand what a corporation is telling them and that is something that in risk management we see every single day because those families that work at the lower end of our retail spectrum are in poverty too they do have indiscretion they do have jealousy they do have theft and they sometimes do it against me and you but the theft of our rights is where we're talking about today the theft of a impoverished person's rights is when some bastard of Satan tries to take advantage of that person by sharing their story across their social networks in a way that hurts the individual ruins their privacy and destroys their rights